What's going on guys, my name is Matt and today I'm going to be sharing with you a standing desk gaming setup I put together. I saw this video as being a good way to show you some of my favorite setup items and peripherals, many of which I've received questions about in the comments of other videos. This is going to be a pretty minimalistic setup with each piece doing its job very well. This wasn't meant to be the cleanest setup, it's more meant to be very functional and uncluttered. So why don't we talk about the desk first. This is a FlexiSpot height adjustable desk. It starts around $300, which is a pretty good value for the money. I went with the larger 60 by 30 inch top option, which did add about $50. You can customize these with the number of legs and top options. I went with the maple top and white legs. I think this combo looks really nice, and I like having a wood style desk versus the solid color desks I've had in the past. This standing desk is motorized with a single motor that works well. Adjusting the height is really simple with these up and down arrows and you can set three different profiles so you can go from the perfect sitting height to the perfect standing height in a matter of seconds. The desk is very sturdy but as you start to get high up there is a tiny bit of wobble which isn't anything major or distracting. So now that we've talked about the desk let's talk about what's on the desk. I'm gonna start with the monitor because anytime I show this monitor in a video there's always at least a few people asking what it is. This is the Pixio PX2 277, which is a 1440p 144Hz IPS display. To me, 1440p 144Hz is one of the best options for PC gaming right now. This monitor has very thin bezels and overall just looks and performs amazingly. The colors are pretty accurate and having FreeSync is also a nice bonus. Sadly, this exact model isn't being made anymore, but Pixio does have a few different options available right now. For example, this 275H is sporting a very similar design at 14 1440p, but with a 95Hz refresh rate, which is still really good, and the price is right around 250 bucks. This is a decent deal for a 1440p IPS display with a 95Hz refresh rate. I've had really good experiences with Pixio monitors, and I find they provide good performance at competitive prices. Next up, let's talk about the peripherals. I really like having a wireless keyboard and mouse as it requires less cables, and it allows me to easily push them out of the way if I'm wanting to use the desk for non computing tasks. For the keyboard, this is the Corsair K63 Wireless. It's a 10 keyless keyboard with Cherry MX Red switches. To me, this is an amazing gaming keyboard as TKL boards allow you to maintain good ergonomics and the Cherry MX Red switches are super fast. Even though this is a wireless keyboard, the response time is great and I didn't notice any difference between this and my wired keyboards. But then again, I'm not an MLG CSGO player or anything, so your mileage may vary. Also, this board has blue back lighting which is cool but I never use it because lighting on wireless peripherals absolutely kills the battery life. With this being said you always have the option of plugging the keyboard in and using it as a standard wired keyboard. For the mouse this is the Corsair Ironclaw RGB wireless gaming mouse. This is by far the best wireless mouse I've ever used and is probably my favorite gaming mouse I've ever used. There's no noticeable latency issues and not having to deal with a cable is great. This mouse is very comfortable in the hand and tracks very nicely with its PM W 3391 optical sensor. There are a number of programmable buttons with RGB lighting that's also programmable, but again this lighting does drain the battery very quickly. One of my favorite things about this mouse is there are three ways to use it. You can use the included 2.4 GHz dongle, you can connect to it over Bluetooth, or you can just plug it in and use it as a wired mouse which is pretty nice. This is good for someone like me because if I forget the dongle when I'm using my laptop away from home, I can still connect to the mouse wirelessly with Bluetooth. Bluetooth. This mouse is expensive, but if you can justify the price, the experience it offers is amazing. This mouse is sitting on an Amazon Basics mousepad. I like these because they're a good size, they aren't anything flashy, and they are very affordable. I don't need any huge gaming mousepad, and I found this size works perfect for a content creator and casual gamer like me. Moving on to the headset, this is the Sennheiser PC37X gaming headset. This is a collaboration between Mastrop and Sennheiser, and the end product is absolutely amazing. Sennheiser is the perfect company to make a headset because they already produce really good headphones and really good microphones, so them doing this is a no-brainer. These are semi-open back, over-ear headphones that have amazing 
sound quality. The padding is super soft and comfortable, which is great for long gaming sessions. The microphone is probably the best headset mic I've ever heard, but it isn't good enough for content creation where you really need an external condenser microphone. This headset's sitting on a wooden headphone stand I made a long time ago that actually has a little hatch where I store the cable when I'm not using the headset. I'm gonna make a notch so the lid can close all the way with the cable in it, but it really doesn't bother me with the lid cracked open. Next to this is a super generic fake plant. I think these are really great for setups as they look really nice and are very affordable. Next up is my gaming and editing PC. This is an ITX computer with a Ryzen 7 1700 and a GTX 1070. This combo works great for both making videos and gaming. Some other specs include an ASRock B350 ITX motherboard, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 450 watt SFX PSU from Corsair, and a Cryorig C7 CPU cooler. The system's housed in a Dan case style enclosure which is semi-custom and I'll leave a link to my video about the case in the description down below. Low. While I did want to have minimal cables in the setup, I really wasn't worried about having super clean cable management. I basically ran all the wires, then bunched them up in this velcro cable sleeve. This tidies all the cables into one place and doesn't interfere with the desk going up or down. Overall, this is a pretty clean setup without any unnecessary clutter, other than the plant, and it works well for both gaming and content creation. I like having a standing desk as I'm a person who spends a lot of time at a desk, and it's nice to switch things up and do some work while I'm standing. Standing up. This setup works great for me and each piece does its job very well. If you're interested in any of the items featured in the video, I'll have links to all of them in the description down below. If you guys liked the video and would like to see a more budget version of this, let me know in the comment section down below. So yeah guys, I think this wraps this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as well as consider subscribing for more PC and tech related content in the future. And as always, this is Matt from Tech by Matt. Signing out.